Hi guys, this is Tony at AW, AW Cinema. What we did today was we actually installed the new DJI Zamoose, the HD3, on a 550 with um, a 200 millimeter landing skids. Now the layout was pretty simple and very easy. What we did, we started first with the GCU, which is a new unit that comes with the Zamoose unit. We installed it at the front of the ship. The reason being is on the front side, it has the micro USB. You'll need to access that for your firmware upgrade. In that location, on the side, it allowed us to easily get into our FPV video out relay. That, that plug will actually go to your 5.8 gigahertz transmitter, so you'll be able to get video down to the ground. Exactly. Right behind it is the PMU that, that you have to buy separate once you buy the um, HD3. We put it in its location because the cables were short enough to reach behind the NASA. You'll need to plug a cable from it to the back of the NASA. Um, that was the best location. Also, it needed a hot end, so we tapped right into the main battery section, right behind those two as well. Going around to the right of the unit, we have our AR8000 receiver, tele to our TM1000. These two devices together are perfect for the DX8 radio because it will give you telemetry back down to the ground. So much as battery voltage, underload, your flight time, altimeter, and stuff like that. In front of it is the altimeter device which plugs into the telemetry unit. This is a great device. It will let you know on your screen your actual feet off the ground. You're also allowed to alarm that too as well. That kind of completes how we laid the HD Zamoose out on 550. This one is a beauty and take a look at the next video you'll be able to see the footage of what we did with it. Thanks.